Hi, I'm Spicy Steve. And you'll never make a drummer. Oh. Hi, I'm Tasty Trish. Today, we're going to be using lemongrass, one of our favorite ingredients yes. to use, and one that normally you don't actually see uh, people using as much as already in a lot of the ingredients, right, Trish? Like right. curry paste, etc. Yes. It's in there, and unless you see in big chunks at a restaurant, you often don't see the lemongrass, but it's in there infused in the dish. So today, we're going to do a, a classic dish that is very popular when we do catering, and that's a red curry salmon and coconut milk. It's actually a very simple dish, but everyone we do it for falls in love with it. It's one that's great. You can dress it up really elegantly, which we'll show you how to do, and have this at a dinner party, and you'll be a hit with all your friends. Believe me, they'll be coming back for more. Okay? So, Trish, what's the first thing we need to know? Well, first of all, we need to bruise this lemongrass. And what you do, I've got a, a pastel here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a big whack. The reason I did that is to bring out the flavors of the lemongrass, so that we'll mix in with the curry paste. So we're called bruising <laughs> your lemongrass. Yep. Now Trish cut off the stalk at the bottom of the lemongrass down here, okay? So this little stalk comes off and we're not using the top part because that's just too fibrous and there's not enough flavor in that in there. So now we've heated up our pan. We're just using a saucepan. So this is one you can make uh, on your kitchen stove. You don't have to have a professional uh, wok burner like us. You just need actually lower heat is better than high heat on this one. So we're going to basically start off with the lemongrass. Yep. And you really what you want to do is you want it to just start to brown on the edges. You can start to hear that there. And it's going to infuse the flavor of the lemongrass. Now you will take this out of your dish at the end. You won't eat this because it's too fibrous to digest. You'd have to pound it into a small paste mm -hmm. for it to actually be digestible. So now you can hear that crackling away. And now to that, you can add red curry paste. Make sure that you get comfortable with a brand that you like. Because if once you get uh, used to it, you'll know the, the degree of chili hotness to it because one brand may be a lot milder than another. And if you do a dish with a different brand, all of a sudden you could ruin your dish. So get comfortable with a brand you like and stick with it. I'm going to add coconut, coconut milk. milk. So what we did is we basically allowed, we allowed the curry paste to open up and again for it to become fragrant so that the spices and herbs that are in the um, uh, red curry paste will open up with the lemongrass. Now we've added the coconut milk, which has sort of cooled it down, and it's stopped that process somewhat because now it's going to be simmering. Good. Now we're going to add to that, Trish. Fish sauce. So a little bit of fish sauce here. That's probably about two tablespoons. Well, don't worry so much about the measurements uh, because it will vary, obviously, on, depending on the amount that you're cooking. I'm so going to add now the kaffir lime leaves. Kaffir lime has leaves. Been yep. Fine. Now, kaffir lime leaves are often called the bay leaf of, of Thailand or Southeast Asia, and they themselves are quite fibrous as well, so you want to chop them down fine or put them in whole in a dish. And if they're put in whole, you can't eat it. And you find it in tom yum goon and soups, you often find pieces of it. Uh, but in this case, we've chopped it fine so it looks lovely and also is digestible. So what we're going to do here, the important thing, is we're going to let this cook a little bit longer, and you would let that go for about a half an hour. And at that point, we're going to take our salmon, and if you pass me the little tongs there, Trish, we have two lovely fillets of salmon here. And once that is cooked, so again, we're speeding this up, you're going to place these in the pan. Whoops, a little more gently than that. Make sure they're nice firm flesh. You can use any firm fleshed fish with this, okay? So a white fish is just as good as salmon. And uh, you don't want it to be too soft like a sole that's going to break up too much in this sauce because it is delicate. Uh, you'd probably, if you use sole, want to poach the sole and then pour the sauce over it. But we're poaching this right into the dish. We've tried frying it. We've tried uh, doing it in parchment paper. But we find poaching the raw salmon straight in the dish adds the most flavor. And what we're going to do is let that poach away for about five minutes or more with the lid on. Oh, wow. Doesn't that smell delicious? Mm. What do you think? Great. This is one of our favorite dishes, and as I said, a real easy one to do. We kept the lid on for about five minutes, and what we're going to do is we're going to plate our dish now. So what we've done is Trish has, has got a little mold here that she's oiled. She's put some rice in, so, so you've created a nice little rice presentation on your plate. Then we're going to basically take our plate, and we're going to get our piece of salmon here. And again, nice firm piece. We're going to leave the lemongrass actually in the pot. There we go. 
If you do put lemongrass on the plate, make sure your guests know that you want to uh, make sure they don't eat that. Actually, it's quite tasty to suck the pieces of lemongrass. <laughs> okay, so we're going to just pour the curry sauce over here. You can see all those little flicks of kaffir lime leaves, little bits of red from the chili. Mm, yummy. And you're just going to basically put that around. Now, we've let the oil separate maybe a little bit too much here, just in filming. So you want some oil separation, maybe not as much as this. We're just going to finish this off now, clean the edge of the plate. I'm going to bring this down here. And Trish, you want to just finish garnishing that? Yeah. A little bit of red chili or red pepper, just for garnish, just to make your rice look nice. You can use any creative uh, combination you like. And then what we've done is we've finely julienned a little bit of kaffir lime leaf, and we're spreading that on top of the salmon. And there you have it, a lovely finished dish of red curry salmon in coconut milk which is just going to make your guests want to come back more and more because this is a wonderful dish that will be a hit at your next dinner party. For Shaw TV, I'm Spicy Steve. And I'm Tasty Trish. For recipes and information on cooking classes, visit SpicySteve.com.